hello again everyone who is connected to us and I'm happy to start our webinar about the new possibilities of Sprutgun version 11. Uh, so I don't want to make the presentation of some PowerPoint presentation or just show nice pictures uh, because you can uh, watch these pictures uh, on our website for example if you click what's new in Sprutcom on the Sprutcom welcome page you can see what's new and you can see what's new and uh, the full list of the new features is listed here uh, you can read it and uh, there is the links to the manual and also I think you already have seen the overview videos for the different new possibilities of Sprutcom. Uh, so today I just want to, sh to show how I work in Sprutcom. Only this one and nothing else. Uh, if you need some detailed information about uh, new possibilities, uh, you can ask the questions in the end of this webinar or you can watch the videos. Uh, there is the PDF brochure, presentation and so on. I hope right now you know there, we c there you can find the information. Uh, okay, that's all about what's new and uh, about uh, Sprutcom development uh, for the version 11. Uh, I divided my webinar in six main topics. The first topic is free access milling, uh, second topic five access milling, third topic uh, turning, uh, fourth topic uh, robots programming, uh, the next simulation and the last new interactive possibilities. Okay, so I will go in this order. The first uh, free access milling, what's new in this area? Uh, the first uh, feature I would like to demonstrate is adaptive feed rate. Uh, you know that uh, in version 10 we have made high performance cutting option. This option, this option generates toolpaths like this one. For example, I prepared the project with simple rectangular pocket and uh, this pocket allow uh, machined this way. You can see it. And the main, main thing for this uh, feature is that uh, the tool load is constant in every in every tool pass point so uh, but it's not possible to do in the sharp corners and uh, we added the special uh, feature the feature name is adaptive feed rate you can find it, it here in the feed rate page adaptive feed rate if we enable this option, then Sprutcom will automatically reduce the feed rate in the corners. Uh, if you will, s if we will see on the toolpath, uh, let me set it this way. Uh, you can see the. Okay, go to simulation and tool goes. Violet color is rapid fit, and this. We can see helic again feed rate, change feed rate, slow feed rate, and fast feed rate after that. So this option is tested on the equipment, and you can work with it. Uh, and also for the high speed machining, it's possible to define the spindle spindle rotation for the plunge uh, ok 
Okay, where is it? Rotation direction. Yes, plunge. It's possible to define the plunge speed for the spindle rotation for this helical tool pass. Uh, line this. Okay. So it's about high speed uh, machining, high performance cutting. Uh, well, the next topic. The net next topic I would like to demonstrate is uh, uh, Connors remachining operation. Uh, let me load this example. Uh, change. Uh, you already have seen the uh, over special video with overview of this operation. Uh, so. Uh, the main the main feature of this operation uh, this operation automatically recognize the corners in the model and uh, generate the tool pass exact exactly in these corners so I have prepared roughing complex finishing and corners remachining uh, what's what parameters exist here we can see uh, strategy for example a long across or combine it. Let me set along. For example, simple fillet. Uh, if I calculate the tool pass, we can see the tool pass along this fillet. If I set across, we can see tool pass across these fillets. Calculation time is quite fast. So this is a simulation. If I set combine it, then uh, the tool pass will be divided on two parts, depending on this uh, steep shallow angle. Right now it is 45 degrees, so the shallow surfaces will be machined along and steep surfaces will be machined across. Uh, that's quite good. One uh, moment about this operation. This operation doesn't check the actual workpiece. It uh, check. It uses only this parameter, previous tool diameter. Uh, for the exact e explanation of this, of every parameter, I recommend you to watch our overview video for the corners clean up operation. Uh, the next pencil. Pencil is uh, s almost the same but it, uh, it allows to generate the simple tool pass. One pass, parallel passes are possible. So corner clean up allow to generate the roughing passes. Roughing passes it's we can s you can see it here roughing and define the parameters all the pictures is also drawn and uh, i think it's quite easy to understand how to use it uh, well that's about corners remachining well the next uh, new operation for free access milling I would like to demonstrate is uh, is helical operation. I prepared this simple example and uh, simple example and uh, let me uh, demonstrate it. So it just generates the simple helical tool pass. Uh, I define it the bottom level. It is uh, uh, sorry. Uh, helical. Yes. Bottom level is possible to change it uh, and uh, define, for example, let me say this step. And uh, uh, this operation is very important for the for the machining of electrodes then the more the links from one layer to another one uh, gives uh, 
undesired quality of the surface. And uh, let me just repeat how to create this operation. It's quite easy. Okay, uh, let me let me delete this operation. Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> the first question I can see uh, is: it is is it undo redo option? No, about undo redo, it still doesn't exist. Uh, well, how to create the new operation? New finishing helical. After that, just define the tool diameter, for example, okay, 10 millimeters, and uh, define the length is, uh, okay, 30 millimeters, and uh, let me define, let me define some shaft, something like this one. Okay, after that I change nothing and just run the calculation. So we can see everything is calculated, and I don't want to machine uh, the any holes to do it. I enable hole capping. Run. Okay, only outer, only outer simulation uh, tool pass is generated. Let me see, and. Uh, Okay, if I run the simulation, okay, hold on. and we can see the collision here with holder because the tool length is not enough. Uh, so, and with this operation, okay, okay holder collision. Mm, it doesn't show. Okay, it says, says about errors. Uh, well, and I go to new five axis option, and uh, in helical operation there is a new option. The name it check holder. If I enable check holder and uh, uh, it, it will cut that uh, it's possible to trim tool pass uh, incline uh, tool in frontal direction or incline tool in the side direction uh, so let me set this one clearance it's the safe distance from the uh, collision part and holder, additional angle, uh, maximal angle, and the smoothing uh, uh, factor. Okay, all these parameters also explain it in the manual. Let me now just run the calculation and let's see the result. Okay, uh, I would like to define the bottom level first of all let me say uh, minus 40 okay define the bottom level and uh, we calculate the tool pass what happens now uh, go to simulation and let's start it Beginning is simple free axis milling, and then the holder start to collide with the. Okay, uh, very good. I continue, and we can see that tool start to incline. So about the collision in the beginning, uh, very important moment. Uh, so if we want to generate this uh, five axis tool pass we need to enable uh, tool center point management it's very important for this kind of machining 
So after the recalculation, I can see, go to simulation, set it. So free access and to avoid collision, we start to incline the tool. It is possible to disable machining. So uh, this option, the name is uh, check holder uh, and holder collision avoidance. This option is available in the uh, helical operation. You know, see, it is available in the morph operation, in the rotary operation, and in the 5D surfacing operation. You can play with this option and I hope you will like it. Okay, uh, the next the next uh, feature I would like to show is uh, rotary roughing. Uh, rotary roughing. I prepared small example. So I would like to machine this screw shaft and uh, right now I will uh, demonstrate you the universal method to machine the models like this one. Uh, so I already have th the prepared uh, operation. Uh, it, uh, the project contains two operation, rotary roughing for the roughing and 5D sur surfacing for the finishing. Uh, we, can, we can see it in the simulation. Let's check. So, it is the roughing, uh, layer by layer, and uh, next layer, and uh, after that, finishing. Let me check. So, and the finishing, uh, if I enable the machine panel, you can see that Z is the constant. So, uh, you know, new 5D surfacing operation, it has a lot of uh, possibilities, and one of the possibilities, it is so called uh, rotary finishing waterline. And uh, right now we can, uh, we can work with it. Okay, let me delete this operation and uh, demonstrate how it was done how it was done. Okay, I stop the simulation, go to my uh, go to my project and delete everything. Yes. Uh, so th the first one, I create new roughing, rotary roughing operation. Okay, define some tool. Okay, the tool diameter, let it be 10 millimeters. Let's define the holder and uh, tool length. I think we need about 40. And uh, I don't define any job assignment. Just click run. Ah uh, no. Okay. It's calculated the tool pass, but I wanted to fill some parameters. So I would like to set not spiral but linear. It's the same parameters like in uh, finishing rotary operation. Uh, and uh, depth step, for example, I would like to set five millimeters. And uh, bottom level, I can change it and you can see. Uh, so if I go to model and measure, okay, the this uh, tube diameter is 22 so uh, I need I need uh, il 11 millimeters for the bottom layer I don't want machine lower and uh, and that's all I think click run go to simulation reset the simulation result we made before and 
I can simulate it this way. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to define the parameters and you don't need to select face by face or edges and fill the job assignment. Uh, all the part will be machined. Uh, nothing difficult. Uh, well, so after this operation we will have mm -hmm, waiting for this simulation and after this operation we will have mm, this model. Uh, I forget I need to set some stock for the finishing operation. Let me set 0 0.5 radial and axial stock and recalculate the tool pass. Okay, uh, the next operation I would like to demonstrate is uh, 5D surfacing, finishing 5D surfacing. Uh, this is very, very powerful operation. And uh, if you have seen the overview, our video, name it overview of 5D surfacing, you can see that uh, this operation has uh, seven strategies for the tool tip and it has uh, six strategies for the tool orientation together it gives uh, 42 combination of different kind of tool paths uh, so uh, as you understand uh, it will take a lot of time to demonstrate ev every combination so right now I will show you how to machine this uh, how to machine this uh, screw shaft uh, there is the strategy okay let me d set the let me set the tool first of all okay six millimeters diameter and uh, define the shaft and uh, tool length will be okay set 40 uh, and th the next go to strategy set this parameter around rotary axis okay you can see it so the rotary axis uh, rotary axis is workpiece coordinate system x uh, calculation bias based on the tool center relink passes i recommend to enable it uh, uh, this is a key tool orientation tool orientation again to rotary axis uh, so the tool go through the rotary axis so all the parameters I will not change it and uh, maybe go to the links and change the safe surface Sa surface must be cylinder uh, and I need to define it manually cylinder okay parameters mm -hmm. okay this is the safe surface and the step 1.2 millimeters um, and the machining coder is uh, okay new mode let me set climb uh, that's all let's try to calculate run okay it says many machining surfaces are missing for the 5d surfaces we need to fill the surfaces but in our case all the surfaces must be machined just click and it it takes nothing it don't need the time so let's let's calculate the tool pass uh, so calculation time okay we can see the strange uh, strange rapid motion let me d feel it so i would like to make the links through on safe surface and and links on safe surface also engage and all and other things will be uh, finished okay uh, so it's much better calculation time is three seconds for this tool pass I have n not the 
best PC, but it calculates very, very fast. So let's let's see the result. So let me okay we can let me enable so z is constant and uh, so on so you can play with this option so every layer will be machined this way okay uh, i just want to repeat that this is the universal method to machine the screw shafts uh, well, the next uh, feature I would like to demonstrate is also 5D surfacing. Let me load. Let me load one prepared project. So uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it's known problem. Uh, let me restart Sportcam and run from the. Clear. Okay, let me load the project and uh, watch. For okay. Uh, so, what the model we have right now? This is simple model, uh, but only one problem is here. This this model has undercuts. Undercuts, we can see. I just selected the edge, and we can see it. And uh, I have prepared the simple roughing waterline operation for the first and. Uh, to avoid to remove all the parts it's clear and uh, after that I would like to machine these undercuts uh, the first question so right now in free access mode uh, it's not comfortable to machine undercuts in sportcam uh, you know it so right now we will machine it with five axis five axis operation. So let me show how we will do it. So it will do this way. Something like this. Uh, so if I enable the machine, we can see machine visibility. You can see these two paths, how it will be machined. Okay, uh, the question is how this tool, uh, how we have created this tool pass. Okay, uh, let me delete the iteration and create it from the clear, from the clear uh, list. Okay, the tool is 25 millimeters. Uh, okay, I delete, I delete operation. And uh, what I need to define for these two paths. So create finishing uh, 5D surfacing. Okay, set the tool diameter of 25 millimeters. And after that, set job assignment. Uh, machine. I want to machine these, these faces. Okay, click machining surfaces, mm, and the next go to. Uh, so you can see the same way to edit. Uh, uh, so parallel to vertical plane, it's the same like the old pl plane operation. Right now, I want to use parallel to horizontal plane. It's the same like the old waterline operation, but uh, in this operation we can 
uh, we can uh, change the tool orientation. So if I use fix it and parallel to horizontal plane, we 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 can calculate the simple water line. Uh, but in my situation, I would like to set the normal to fruit curve and uh, uh, define the define the curves. Mm. Uh, I would like to to go through. Uh, so, go to job assignment, select this curve, and uh, click tilt curve. And here we have a full curve. Uh, I will not change other parameters. Other parameters. Let me run the two pass calculation. Okay, almost ready. Uh, Okay, I need to define, for example, meal mode climb, run. Okay, and uh, let's check. Let's check what we will have. Okay. So, as you can see, it's not so difficult to use this operation and define the parameters. Uh, well, uh, the next uh, the next option I would like to demonstrate also. Uh, for example, right now I have the machine uh, kinematic stable table. So if I if I change the machine for example set select the machine uh, with the kinematics uh, head head for example something like this one this machine have has uh, axis a you can see it this machine has and axis c okay let me set the workpiece on the correct place uh, workpiece setup enable it take take the arrow it move up and uh, that's all it's enough for me and uh, after that I need just to recalculate the tool pass uh, but uh, these this operation, uh, these machines, you can we you can see these circles. Uh, it's because this machine has the limits of the C axis. Let me start. Usually, uh, machine of this kind cannot make more than two turns of the C axis. And when we go, when we go to machining. we need to other turn and so on so okay uh, to avoid to avoid these uh, other turns i can make it only one way just set meal mode in both sides and recalculate the tool pass okay and also at the end of the tool pass we have mm -hmm, it was the other turn here let me check why is it Okay, uh, there is the new option, name it Advanced Access Limits Control. This option automatically select the positive or negative uh, position for the axis A to minimize the number of turns, other turns of the tool inside the 
inside the machining. Okay, that's all about 5D surfacing. I wanted to show the next topic. The next topic is what's new in the turning. What's new in the turning? Uh, let me load a uh, simple example. Uh, this one. Uh, you know that uh, this example is included in our standard package. It is located in the examples turn me turning folder, and uh, it uh, it allows to generate quite good and advanced uh, uh, lathing tool pass. So what was done in version 11? Uh, in version 11 we have created the next thing lathe. So because machine is lathe, uh, only turning operation are available. Uh, the old operation is moved to the this folder and um, you can this operation exists only to to make the compatible to make Sprontcam compatible with the old versions, and you can load the old operation. And the, all these new operation was added. Actually, these new operations is the one operation, our lathe contouring operation. But uh, the default values is uh, adapted for the outer or inner turning and so on. Okay, let me delete all operation in this project and create create the machining from the clear list. Okay. For example, I have nothing and right now I would like to machine this part. Uh, first create lathe, lathe facing tool in correct position, click run, ready. After that Create lathe, outer roughing. Create run, ready. If I don't like the step of machining, okay, I can set the step of machining. You can see the tool pass preview and ready. Uh, okay, I can change the start and end points. So, but not only the division was done for this was done for this operation for the turning uh, the roughing cycle and grooving cycle was uh, was changed a lot and right now it's much more stable the next uh, for example I would like to drill the hole inside lathe hole machining Create it automatically. Set the tool. Click. Calculate the tool pass. Uh, ready. But uh, go to simulation. Let me set simulation. We work this so we can see it this way. And after the machining, we can see the drilling only to this position. I would like to set the. through the part. Uh, okay, drilling is ready. The next, uh, so I would like to machine this uh, groove. Let me set new lathe uh, degrooving. Uh, degrooving. This is the tool. Uh, it's not, uh, okay, let me first of all set the start and Endpoints from this position take start point, change endpoint, and also I don't want machine with small grooves, select all and uh, select all, and click OK. And uh, also, I would like to machine, for example, mm, or to set the tool lens. OK, let me set this one 25 
Uh, uh, and the bands, for example, four millimeters. Okay. Mm. Run. Run the simulation and watch the result we have right now. It's for the milling. So the grooves almost machined. These corners I can machine if I enable overlap. So right now I would like to machine these uh, small uh, these small grooves. Go to machine, create lathe, or degrooving, or degrooving again, and set only this zone. And we can see the preview of tool pass. The tool width is the same like the groove is so, and uh, we can we have the problem with approach. Uh, so to avoid it, I can set the first and the last points. Uh, okay, and for the simulation, we can do it. Okay, very good. So if uh, the tool this is not the same like the group this it will uh, m generate all necessary passes so uh, you can see that uh, okay I would like also to show the changes in the let me for example show lathe uh, or deep threading so the same way I, I need the threading from this to uh, this position change the overlap uh, we can see preview of tool pass and calculate it so uh, as you can see it's much more easy to work with the uh, turning in SportCam 11 so if you need the turning you will uh, you will like it okay uh, that's all I wanted to show about the turning about the turning and uh, the next the next uh, thing I would like to demonstrate it's uh, It's robots. Uh, it's the new possibilities for the robots programming. Uh, let me demonst uh, load the project robot. I prepared very very simple project. Uh, it not so much changes in the robots programming, but I think it will be. So uh, here I have. Uh, I have simple operation with uh, 2D contouring that have to machine uh, these two circles. Uh, the robot is located on the rail. Robot is located on the rail, and uh, the requirement to my pass tool pass if is that I want to move the rail to some position. After that, machine the circle. After that, move the robot to the next position, and machine the second, machine the second uh, circle. Uh, if uh, you used the used SportCam for the robots programming, you know that uh, we have uh, access optimizer, uh, robot access map, and uh, this this map is uh, is available uh, what's new in this map first of all it's possible to define to use not only the splines but also the broken line uh, it allowed to reduce the number of the 
binds in the program for robot and the next there is the new checkbots rec rapid fit so for this to pass uh, the pink uh, pink color it's the rapid fit and white color it's uh, the uh, it's the work fit so and then I draw the map it is possible to snap to a position to change the position so then I built let me clear for example clean the spline and when I built the new spline to control the robot axis I can easy snap to this position and uh, it means that when I machine the third circle the rail optimize the axis is rail x the rail is constant after that rapid feed rate we move the rail and the next again rail is constant and uh, machining on the, the surface that's about uh, that's about the uh, changes in the uh, extra access optimizer okay regenerate tool pass ready so in simulation uh, we can see it's correct machining first zone and machining the second zone uh, the next changes the next changes of the mm, uh, for the robots programming uh, let me load let me load the project uh, this is the actual uh, rob robotic cell from our customer. Uh, this customer uh, make the parts for the building industry, bridge building, uh, and so on. And uh, they use it. Uh, they use it. Okay, they use it the plasma cutting uh, head to make all these holes and to machine the, these uh, sides okay uh, so we used simple 5d contour operation to generate the tool pass uh, and uh, in version 10 you know it was the problems to generate the links between the operation and uh, so right now if i go to uh, in russian it means approach uh, if i go to approach we can see that approach is incorrect and it connect uh, it collide with a part so if i run the simulation we can see the collision oops okay let me stop the simulating enable stop on collision reset not the status and let me restart uh, restart the simulation okay oops we have the collision here and so I would like to avoid it I would like to avoid it uh, so it's uh, when we go uh, we are located inside the approach there is the new panel here approaches and retraction panel and we can easily let me for example enable machine control panel and i can move the i can move the robot to this position for example and after that i can set i can click insert the current machine state to the approach so I just click at it and uh, we have the new uh, new point in the approach so right now if I reset the state and start the simulation we will go through this point 
after that go through the next point okay it's correct and start and start uh, cutting uh, okay very good I edited the tool pass uh, edited the approach what happens if I recalculate the tool pass uh, if I reset tool pass and calculate it again we can see that the approach is still the same so it was saved uh, and uh, you you can edit it and uh, so right now you can forget about this uh, window uh, re actually the approach we edited was saved here uh, but you can forget about it and don't use it uh, right now you have much more comfortable way the same way it is possible to edit the return for example but for this operation right now I'm on return and we can see that okay for the next operation for example uh, I can mm, in the approach it has something like this very good and uh, there is a new option and uh, I can generate the approach manually uh, this button allowed to generate okay allowed to generate the approach uh, automatically uh, with the checking of the collisions in every point uh, so this tool pass was generated automatically and if I want I can edit it again for example I set on this position uh, set on this position and click edit it and after that I can set for example change Z value as I want and uh, that's all and change uh, run this simulation again okay so I think if you use it Sprutcom for the robots programming you will like this feature very very well okay it's about uh, robots it's about robots programming uh, the next the next feature I would like to demonstrate is uh, the next feature I would like to demonstrate is so next topic simulation uh, about robots programming that's all uh, for the I just want to say that right now we develop the new operation for the additive manufacturing and uh, a lot of customers ask us about uh, additive uh, additive operation together with robots I think this is the very strong side of Sprutcom because we can combine additive manufacturing and robots together uh, okay uh, the next simulation let me create new project uh, maybe let me let me load some example uh, some example this one this is a very very old project it exists in our examples folder and on the simulation page uh, you can see the new button this button uh, what happens if I click this button uh, in this case Sprutcom automatically uh, generate the G code for every operation I can double click and I can run through it uh, what happens here right now uh, Sprutcom run the post processor for every operation this post processor generates this G code you can see it 
and after that spirit come uh, interpret the generated file and simulate it so right now we simulate not the code that was generated by sprout come directly we simulate the code that was generated by the post processor after sprout come so this option can be used for the uh, post processor development and uh, it is just comfortable for the uh, users who don't want to see our CL data if they just want to see G code, G -code directly. Okay, uh, there I need to define the post processor that will be used for the program generation. If I select a machine, click go to machines. Here in the machine description, there is the post processor and right now this uh, FANOC, FANOC mil post processor is defined and the next parameter is uh, the interpreter file this is so called inverse post processor uh, this file uh, performs the interpretation of the G code and uh, the extension is SNCI and I also select it for the FANOC uh, uh, I read the question from uh, from Dave Pearson what is what is the meaning of midpoint uh, okay it's the question for the last uh, it's the question for the last topic I will explain it I will explain it. Uh, let me finish with this one. Okay, uh, so right now we have only four interpreters for the uh, four inverse post processors. All these files was developed inside Sprout technology, uh, but in the future we are planning to make it possible to give the to give tool for the dealers. So dealers will be able to develop his own uh, interpreter uh, inverse post processors. So I selected this one, and uh, uh, that's all. Uh, so these two parameters started, and you can see uh, the code. Uh, this is the question. Uh, this is about based on G-code simulation. Well, uh, the next uh, the next option uh, is uh, let me disable this option and the next improvement in the simulation. So I think uh, you used you used. Uh, this option uh, this option to compare the part with the machine we have right now with the machine at result and uh, in version 11 it works much much faster so I can easy rotate and uh, if I will simulate till this position for example and I even can start the simulation and we it will be possible to see uh, the actual stock for the if I stop simulation change for example this is okay it will be green and it works uh, 10 times more faster uh, this so it is optimized for the uh, video card and you can you will like it uh well uh if i disable it will be more faster but uh this is very good option okay the next the next topic 
uh, is the this button tool reach inspector what is it and how to use it uh, let me do some example well uh, right now I have the model of me uh, this model is machined with usage of five axis milling machine and uh, let me disable everything and uh, this tool reach inspector uh, if I set on uh, the operation then I can see the green color uh, is highlight the zones that can be machined with this tool axis position so right now we have axis A 40 degrees and axis C so if I will change the tool axis we can see we can see the zones that will be available or not available for the tool in this position if I change the let me say if I change the overhang of the tool make my tool shorter we can also we can also see that some zones is not available uh, so there is the there is the uh, special fu function find best angle uh, it uh, scan all possible angles and find the position the the maximal volume of workpiece will be machine uh, will be removed uh, and maximal uh, area of the part will be machined uh, so this very interesting function I think uh, other cam software don't have this function and uh, okay I'm very fast right now uh, uh, one uh, the latest option I want to show mm, so I right now I demonstrate you Sportcam version 11 not the last version and I would like to demonstrate uh, free form tools uh, shape tools uh, it was developed for, for for our customers okay let me close this sportcam and run and run another version of sportcam sorry uh, I think this option will be available in the uh, in in few days mm. sportcam uh, yes this one Uh, so it's better version mm -hmm. mm. well mm. Uh, what I want what is the solid tool so right now it's very important for the turning and for milling also uh, for example if I have some CAD model and uh, this kind of model and I want to set this model as the real tool for for Sportcam uh, so right now it is possible to do uh, let me first of all I need to locate the geometry in the correct position to do it I have to rotate uh, so the milling tool must be located along along z axis and it have to look down and the next step I need to locate the origin in the base position so the level of this 
73 millimeters so I would like to mm, I change transform uh, set minus 73 okay so I have this tool right now and uh, let me set it for example change the color to black after that uh, I would like to change this tool and set these colors to yellow okay and maybe set the colored uh, set the colored color to I don't know white uh, okay I have this tool and uh, right now I can save uh, select this folder and click save as and save it as OSD fi file usually I save it to the libraries folder uh, to libraries this is the same folder where the libraries is say, uh, is located okay we have our tool here the next step let me let me load some example for example okay this example for example okay and if I want to change for example we have wiping waterline and there is the parameters holder geometry file I can select okay this file and we can see our tool uh, let me disable the visibility of this and uh, mm, so this is this tool was defined in the operation and this tool holder we take from our file so we can uh, this tool will be used for the tool pass calculation let me transparency okay not tra transparent but uh, transparency might be this one this tool will be used for tool pass calculation and this tool will be used for the collision detection let me set the same tool diameter 20 not torus mill but and cylindrical mill so right now you can see the tool and I can remove the visibility and uh, our hank is uh, actually our hank was some distance it was uh, size from the file I imported I just remember this number and let me calculate the tool pass okay so after that go to simulation send this is my working copy uh, and uh, run the simulation so you can see the simulation uh, for the milling it's not uh, okay it's it's not very rotation is not okay let me okay for the milling it's not very actual uh, but for the turning we can do the same the, the holder of the turning tool the same way it's very very useful and th it will work with the collision detection also so it's the question uh, about solid tools and uh, also also I forget one more thing uh, this is the new possibilities to draw the curves uh, okay for example in this operation we have uh, finishing and uh, when I am located on the job assignment and we if this part is enabled these buttons is available this panel these buttons allow to draw any curve I want this for example I draw this curve and after that I can select this curve and set that it will be job zone for example recalculate the tool uh, delete this and recalculate the tool pass 
so right now it's much much more comfortable uh, to draw the curves we need okay mm -hmm. Don't okay ready so we can easy edit these curves if i click right mouse button it delete a point i can add the new point okay not the correct place uh, i can uh, click middle button and move it move all the curve to a new position and or i can draw the broken line for example this line and uh, select it and add it to job zone also and recalculate the tool pass so i recommend you to use uh, to use this option it's uh, quite comfortable uh, well well it seems the end of uh, webinar and uh, it's the end of my presentation and right now I'm ready to answer your questions uh, so you can ask the questions and uh, the first question was from the Dave Pearson what uh, uh, Okay, last question from Ashfaq Kadri. First of all, hello. Uh, and uh, yes, we will make the video and uh, send it to everyone. And uh, uh, thank you for presentation. And uh, the first question about uh, midpoint. Uh, it was about uh, building of the it was about building of the okay it's the debug version of sprutcam maybe maybe it's even better so when uh, i built the so right now i am working in the debug version of sprutcam i remember about it but i will not uh, run uh, restart it so you, I want to build uh, to calculate the approach and if I click this it asks about intermediate point setting and specify it uh, okay it is calculating okay quite slow what is it uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. calculation in the debug version is much slower but I hope tool pass will be much smoother. Automatically generated tool pass. Uh, uh, what are all the other version available in Sprutcam like for, for Pro 5D. Mm. Sorry, really don't understand the question. Uh, Pro 5 mm -hmm. doesn't work. Uh, okay, the question was uh, let me uh, midpoint. It is disabled. So uh, this midpoint was defined exactly for this uh, f for the s robot cells like this one and this cell have the uh, have the roll gang let me show it uh, and this roll gang moves the the part and uh, when we calculate uh, then we move we when we m want to move the part from one position to another one we need to locate the um, uh, robot in some safe position uh, to move the, this roll gang and uh, midpoint is defined inside inside the robot and uh, i can 
uh, in tool change into uh, for example I can define a to 150 a free 150 it must be it must be filled in the machine schema by default it was not filled for my project and uh, I hope I answer on your question and it is understandable okay uh, the next uh, question will it be possible to read external in C file in order to be simulated uh, right now it's not possible but it will be possible I I'm not ready to give the exact date when it will be ready but our guys working in this direction and I hope soon it will be possible because you understand that we have created the new way uh, to inverse post-processor to interpret the code and uh, so it's the first step after that it will be possible to simulate everything inside SportCam and also we are planning to make the new version of our old product name it in Junior and this product I'm not ready to say when it will be ready but it will be special uh, program something like Simco uh, but I think it will use the SportCam simulation kernel and it will be much better because of it it's the question